Good morning. Greetings, everyone. This is the servant of Jesus Christ, called by Jesus, ordained by Jesus, made of meals by Jesus, put in the body of Christ by Jesus, uh -huh. put in Jesus' church by Jesus, born of the Spirit by Jesus, filled with the Holy Ghost by Jesus, ordained by Jesus, sent by Jesus. to preach the gospel. Let me give you what he said. I represent Jesus. I give you what Jesus said. Now, concerning the ministry, In ministry, yeah, 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 yeah. I I've been it I've been in I've been in earthly church all my life. I'm sixty two years old. In a couple of months I'll be sixty three, God with it. I've been in ministry in the in, I've been in the church, earthly church all my life. I was born in. Praise God. I was taught from a child up. I was taught from a child up the word of God. The word of God. Not the whole council, but I was taught the word of God. Some of the word. Pray, Lord. Now, uh, when I was put in Jesus' church, uh, uh, it was 1982, and Jesus put me in his church. All of my name on the roll in, in ugly churches. I know what one, two, my name on the roll is on, on the world in two ugly churches now. It's still on the roll. <laughs> but Jesus in 1982 put my name on the roll in his church. My name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And a lot of those in the church who have their name on roll in the church, name is not on roll in Jesus' church. In the Lamb's Book of Life. Now, when I wanted to be saved, it wanted my name written in the Lamb Book of Life. I couldn't go to my earthly pastor because he couldn't put it there. Wait a minute. The Bible says, How can they hear without a preacher? Yeah, the preacher tells you how to. Get your name written in the book of life, and the preacher tell you, Jesus preacher tell you that that's only done through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only one that can put your name in the Lamb Book of Life. Nobody can save you. No priest can save you. No church can save you. Only Jesus. And Jesus preacher, pre Jesus. Praise God. I was talking to someone. The other day they were confessing their faults and shortcomings and so on and so forth. 
Praise God. Now, Jesus Christ, hear me, hear me. Jesus Christ, if they take all you, law you, I see out. Let me give them. Uh, I don't know the gentleman's name that I went to, to at the, the kitchen restaurant on Jackson Avenue. Went there for a gathering on uh, yesterday. God bless the young man. He told me, I said, he said, I watch you. I, I watch you on broadcast. I watch you broadcast. God bless him. You ain't seen me out there, Tim. I see you. I watch you. I see you. Hallelujah. God bless. Uh, elderly lady, she, she told, she would, my daughter, well, her daughter told me that that she would have her to, to, to turn me on. She don't know how to wet computer, but she had her daughter turn me on. Uh -huh. Praise God. Many have come and say, I see you out there. Don't say nothing. It's all right. Glory. Now, let me let me continue on. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will take away all your sin if you repent. All your sin. When you make up your mind, you want to follow him and you want to be saved. You can't have nothing hanging on. Well, I give up this, but I still got this. No. When you make everybody you want to follow Jesus. If when you make everybody you want to follow Jesus, that means you won't do whatever he said to. That means you want to follow him. Keep in command. You want to be saved. Jesus Christ will take away all your sin. Jesus Christ is alive. He's on the right hand of the Father. God raised him from the dead. His blood was shed down here on earth. For I will see it. His blood in front of the remission of sin. Jesus Christ will take away all your sin if you want to take it away. If you want to be about that life. If you want to live for him. It's through Jesus. Now, praise God. Uh, but Jesus put my name Wrote my name on the, on his church row. Now, later on, Jesus ordained me to preach the God. I say, Jesus, can't no man ordain you to preach the gospel. No man. Not a one. I'll kill Laying on the hand of Presbyterian, don't ordain you to preach no gospel. Okay, run, okay, run the Timothy. I dare you, run that. It's a by prophecy. Neglect, neglect not the gift that is within thee that was given to you by prophecy in the land of the hand. You know what by prophecy mean? That means God spoke and made source of you. There ain't no gift impartation. All right. Now, uh, and we say later on, Jesus sent me to preach the gospel. Now, ever since I started preaching the gospel, even before I was, quote unquote, holding the office of a preacher, even before the the word of God preached with with the with the sh shaking up things. Matter of fact, when I first when I first when the Lord saved me, watch this, watch this, watch this. When the Lord first saved me, 
Late on, he called me and ordained me a preacher. Made me a mess. Yes, I was a minister, yet I didn't know what I do now. Yet I still was going along with tradition and what earthly church taught me out of habit and out of what they said. Hallelujah. Yes. They go along, say what everybody else say. I've I had some of the course. I had some of the course me one time on some. And I went to search the scripture by God and realized y'all had taught me wrong. Yeah, yeah, and I only realized that through the scripture. Yes, I will teach it. Man, look, listen, 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 listen. I was teaching women don't wear pants, don't wear makeup. Hallelujah. I was teaching women don't wear earrings, don't wear long earrings. If you wear them, don't wear them long. Praise the Lord. But have you ever looked at the priest garment in the Old Testament? Man, all that gold and all that stuff. Have you ever looked at they garment? Have you ever noticed that Israel had jewelry and everything and it ain't even made that cat with that jewelry that they had on. God didn't tell him to take that jewelry off. Abel told him to take it off. And he made a cat, a golden cat. Praise the Lord. Man, I told you, past wearing women and everything. What did the what did they wear back during the times of the Old Testament and the, during the law? What what did they wear? Now, according to the Book of Revelation, everybody gonna have on robes. Wait a minute. What about me and what robe and women robe? Wash, wash their robes in the blood of the land. Everybody gonna have robes. Well, I guess I better lead that along. Anyway, anyway. Man, uh, man, I talk against everything, just, just not thinking about it. Not considering, let's look at that. But because y'all said, I'm just saying the same thing y'all said. What I first got to say, and the word got around, because I would really have told everybody to do, start my family. Many came to be questioned in me. Many, praise the Lord. And I said, I went on and uh, said what y'all told me to say. Yes, I was preaching tithes and all. Yes. Because y'all taught it. They never really went and studied that. But they said what y'all said. Now, I never taught you had to pay tithes in order to be saved. I never taught that. I never taught that. Never. Praise the Lord. But but out of ignorance. 
I said, you, you don't have to keep no law to be saved. It's all about Jesus. You repair your sin. You call on Jesus. Believe him to take away all your sin. First of all, what did that? Now he made up tracks dealing with that scripture. Yet I still preach tithing and offering. Yes, I did, Jesus. It comes to a church building every time the door opened. It was a fella. He preached if you don't come to church, every time the door opened, you ain't saying, well, the Lord barely left. Later on, we learn that the, 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 the church building is not the church. I was teaching the same thing, y'all. They were passed down to y'all. Y'all passed down to me. And I was preaching the same thing uh, until, until. No, I say Jesus all day. Man. And Jesus sent me. And Jesus taught me his word. I, I didn't know. I, I speak the truth like I did. I, I actually thought when these preachers get up and say the Lord said to give a certain amount of money. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. I mean, one time I went to a tent meeting, and the individual said, the Lord has been dealing with somebody about a ministry like this. he been dealing with you. And if you would give, you know, I didn't know. I didn't know I was going along. Until the Lord talk. Now when the Lord teach you, it comes from his word. And the Lord through the late apostle R.L. Bishop on Jeffrey Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, read the scripture. I believe Luke 10. I believe Luke 10. What Jesus said to the disciple. And Jesus said, freely you have received, freely give. I've been preaching there ever since. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out the devil. Freely you have received, freely give. Praise the Lord. Then the boy, the, 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 the cloud, uh, the, the, uh, uh, in Samaria, the Sabbath of Sodom, thought he could, hallelujah, buy the gift of God with money. When I heard the scripture, I forget what y'all taught me. That's dog. That don't mean nothing. And I learned it. And Jesus taught me. I took heed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Bringing no false prophet among us. I took heed. They say, why you speak against the churches, against the uh, pioneers and fathers and mothers? I say, because they were wrong. See, Jesus taught me. Yes, I was preaching tired and already by God, but when I read the scripture for myself, when Jesus spoke, it didn't matter what y'all said. When I read what Jesus said, I would have mercy not sacrifice. In the eighth chapter of the book of Hebrew, Jesus said, well, the writer of Hebrew said, Christ is the high priest now. So you gave your tithe, took your tithe to the priest. The priest wanted to offer your offer to your sacrifice and tithe and all that. Christ the high priest now. So who are you giving it to? 
I talked to a, to a, to a preacher. He was, he was ignorant too. I showed him the scripture. He said, ain't you a preacher in your house? It went right over his head. Man, when I saw, man, when I read the word of God, let God be true in every man's life. I took heed to, I took heed to what I've learned from Jesus, from the word. Knowing I'm Jesus built. And I'm still learning. Praise the Lord. I learned over the last couple of years I made the decision. I'm not going no more at no more past anniversaries. Unless I'm preaching. You know the word you know you preach the word anyway. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because they said that the service is in honor. We come together to honor the pastor. No, we come together in Jesus' name. Where two or three are gathered in his name. We don't gather together to pray pastor. They were named the day, the whole day, dedicated to honoring the pastor and wife. No, no. We gather together to praise God. Worship God. Hear the word of God. Not pastor. Not first lady. No. They were named the day. Church I attend. They named the day after the pastor. They say, what is the day? Bishop David Hall Day before him. J.E. Booker Day. I learned better. No, 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 I'm still learning. No. And I said, nothing wrong with having a banquet or something in his honor. But you don't have, you do not hold a worship service for the pastor or a worship service for the pastor's birthday. No. Praise the Lord. Be there. Have fell out with me. Be there. But I believe God. I believe God would. Yes, y'all taught me, y'all. The same thing would pass down, y'all. Yes, it would pass down to me. And I would go along with it uh, uh, until Jesus. Till I read his word and believed his word. And I tried to convey it and show it to some of y'all. But y'all refuse and y'all reject. Some of y'all. You say, I don't want to debate. I'm not trying to debate with you. Yeah, you say you speak to get pastor. I'm speaking the word of God. Uh huh. Some of you rose up and I brought the word of God and, 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 and lock your jaws. I won't go to heaven without that. That's enough. That's enough. God won't have one ignorant. I count all the stuff that were passed down. I count as dog. At ignorance. We do you know when you don't know you do things in ignorance. Yes, I was ignorant. But when I read the word of God, I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God word. I'm not gonna. Hallelujah. It had it had to fight, quote unquote, paraphrase it, to the nail. To put repentance back in the church. One fellow told me, you don't have to repent. Just believe he died wrong again. They, <clears throat> thank God. Hallelujah. They, 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 they say it now. 
<laughs> Praise the Lord. That's enough. We all leave really right there. Really right there. I'm Laurie Bell, church. I'm Laurie Bell. I obeyed the word of God. That's enough. Thank you, my brother.